Republicans have found their latest target of baseless election fraud lies, voters living abroad, including military voters in key swing states. In the past few weeks, Republicans have filed lawsuits challenging the eligibility of certain U.S. citizens who live abroad to vote absentee in the November elections in Michigan, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania, all battleground states crucial to winning the presidential election, along with important races for Senate, Congress, and Governor. I'm Sophie from Democracy Docket. Let's break down the truth behind these lawsuits. Trump and his allies are claiming without evidence that these overseas ballots are part of Democrats' scheme to steal the 2024 election. This is part of Republicans' broader strategy to lay the legal groundwork to contest the election should Trump lose and cry voter fraud. This latest GOP lie about election fraud stems from the 1986 Uniformed and Overseas Citizens Absentee Voting Act, or UACAVA, a federal law signed by President Ronald Reagan that grants certain U.S. citizens living overseas the right to vote. Trump posted on his Truth Social platform that Democrats are getting ready to cheat by allowing overseas voters their federally guaranteed right to vote. Trump also falsely claims that UACAVA is a program that emails ballots overseas without any citizenship check or verification of identity whatsoever. Firstly, ballots have already been sent to eligible overseas and military voters nearly a month ago. The federal deadline to send these ballots is 45 days before an election, which this year was September 21st. This subset of voters is not as small as you might think. According to Secretary of State Al Schmidt, Pennsylvania has sent 25,000 ballots to citizens abroad this year. And in an election that is projected to be extremely close, that number could potentially be decisive in the outcome. The Washington Post and Associated Press report that these Republican lawsuits come as this group of voters is increasingly presumed to be majority Democrats. So what exactly are Republicans claiming in these lawsuits? In Michigan and North Carolina, the RNC is claiming that people who have never lived in those states should not be allowed to vote there. While UACAVA provides overall federal guidelines for which U.S. citizens can vote absentee if they're living overseas, every state has different rules pertaining to their own specific state. In some states, like Michigan and North Carolina, people who have never lived in the United States but whose parents or legal guardians are residents and domiciled there are allowed to vote in that state. In their lawsuits, Republicans are arguing that these state rules go beyond federal law and extend voter eligibility to people not covered by UACAVA. The complaints allege that the rules violate each state's respective state constitution and ask courts to block the rules allowing these voters to cast ballots. But the issue is, as mentioned before, these voters are already registered and ballots have already been sent to them. Some have even cast their ballots already. So the lawsuits ask county officials in Michigan and North Carolina to separate all of the ballots that were cast by these voters who have never lived in those states. According to the Washington Post, Michigan's Democratic Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson, a named defendant in the Michigan lawsuit, said the number of voters who were born overseas and have never lived in the state is likely very small, but her office does not track that data. She said it would be impossible to segregate those ballots to discard them. Benson's office said in a statement to CBS News that this lawsuit is targeting the voting rights of United States citizens and their families living overseas, including the children of active duty military service members who are making sacrifices for our freedoms. On the other hand, RNC Chair Michael Watley hails these lawsuits as fights for election integrity, saying that North Carolinians and Michiganders should not have their votes canceled by those who've never lived in the state in the first place. Plain and simple. This is illegal and we will stop it. In Pennsylvania, a group of Republican U.S. House members filed a lawsuit alleging that the state is not properly verifying the identity or eligibility of overseas and military voters in violation of UACAVA and the Help America Vote Act. The Republicans ask a federal court to order Pennsylvania's Secretary of State to issue new guidance requiring that these voters' identity and eligibility are verified before counting their ballots. The GOP plaintiffs also asked the court to separate all of these ballots and refrain from counting them until the identity of the applicant can be verified. Here's what Republican Secretary of State Al Schmidt, the named defendant in the lawsuit, had to say about the unfounded conspiracy theories over mail-in voting in the Commonwealth. He seems to be saying that there is cheating going on with mail-in ballots here. There is not. Elections in Pennsylvania have never been more safe and secure with a voter verified paper ballot record of every vote that's cast, whether you vote in person on election day or you vote by mail. The Democratic National Committee intervened in this lawsuit and argued in a legal filing that plaintiffs seek to disenfranchise tens of thousands of Pennsylvanians serving in the military or residing overseas, or both, and seek to deny these people their fundamental right to vote, 
Moreover, less than five weeks before the November elections and more than a month after UOCAVA ballots were first sent to voters. Democrats note that these rules have been in place in Pennsylvania for nearly 12 years and Republicans have never challenged them before. The Democratic committee says plaintiffs simply chose to sit on their hands for over a decade and then attack the voting rights of those serving in our military only after the 2024 general election was underway. These swing state lawsuits are just the latest batch of Republican back lawsuits targeting voting ahead of the 2024 presidential election, specifically mail-in voting. Democracy Docket is currently tracking 18 active lawsuits targeting mail-in voting across the country. To stay up to date on all of these lawsuits and hundreds more, subscribe to our free daily and weekly newsletters. You can click the link right here on the screen or in the description of this video to sign up. And these lawsuits aren't even the first GOP cases to try to disenfranchise military and overseas voters. Republicans are involved in four lawsuits challenging state laws that allow mail-in ballots to be counted if they're sent back by voters by election day, but received by county officials a few days after. These lawsuits filed in Nevada, Mississippi, Illinois, and North Dakota say that these extended ballot receipt deadlines violate federal law and that election officials should reject all ballots received after election day. So far, every court has rejected this argument, but the Mississippi case is currently in the hands of an ultra conservative panel of federal judges on the fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals with potential implications for the entire country should the case make its way up to the U.S. Supreme Court. The Justice Department has gotten involved in many of these cases, saying that these laws are necessary to protect military and overseas voters from being disenfranchised franchise due to postal delays, something they have no control over. The DOJ argues that these rules exist to comply with UACAVA. And in Michigan, the Trump campaign and RNC sued Governor Gretchen Whitmer for designating a veteran affairs building as a voter registration site. We, we've sort of come to expect that the Republican Party wants to shut down voter registration, right? We've come to expect that they will they will spread disinformation about voter registration. What I have to say, even I, you know, who is a cynic when it comes to Donald Trump uh, and the RNC, even I am surprised, is that they have sued to prevent, and wait for this, everyone, the Veterans Administration from being a voter registration site. That's right. They are suing the, uh, the state of Michigan, the governor, uh, some state officials, as well as the U.S. VA, uh, to prevent it from being, among other government offices, a registration site. I mean, how low can the Republican Party stoop to say that veterans who go to the VA should not be able to register to vote there? It is absolutely beyond shameless. And during the 2022 midterm elections, a Republican-backed lawsuit was filed in Wisconsin to stop counting mail-in ballots cast by military voters due to an alleged vulnerability with the state's system for distributing military ballots. The request was swiftly rejected and the lawsuit was later fully dismissed. At a time when Trump and the RNC are pushing numerous campaigns urging their supporters to vote by mail, they are actively in court across the country trying to restrict mail-in voting and disenfranchise military personnel a base that historically leans Republican. You can find all of the court filings for these lawsuits at democracydocket.com to read Republicans' arguments for yourself. Thanks for watching Democracy Docket. If you want to stay up to date on the latest voting and election news in the courts, please make sure to subscribe to our newsletters. You can click the link right here on the screen or in the description of this video. I'm Sophie, and I'll see you next time.